So guys, welcome back to the final part of Blair Witch. Let me tell you guys, uh, the last bit of this game has got to be one of the most terrifying things I've played on my channel, and I didn't know what I was getting into when I first started this game. I thought, okay, it's pretty awesome in the woods, you get your dog, you can give it treats, you got a flashlight, it's daytime, what could possibly go wrong? And by the end of the game, I was sweating bullets, man. I was hiding behind my mic for most of this video, just so you guys know. So, fair warning, there are a lot of jump scares. There's a lot of moments that will make you probably hide in the comments section. Uh, I love you all. Enjoy the video. Thank you so much for all the likes and support. Uh, this is probably going to be a long video. All right, guys. Buckle in. Let's get this. I'm to blame for that. Very effective so far. It's not where it all started, is it? I've seen this room before. Huh? Uh, all right. Oh, here comes our handsome lad. Hey, is it true you shot your pretty face off in basic training? And what kind of girl- Hey, shh. He's coming. Sir, sir, sir. So that's they're all looking away from me, essentially. Fuck. Oh god. Alan Palmer. This is Boxer One, entering the urban area. So many shot at yo. Monarch, this is Foxtrot 1. We confirmed enemy soldiers at 2 o'clock. They are unaware of our presence. Out. Oliver Marley. Oh, God, man, these... Keith Forrest. Ah. 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 Yo, how many times? Somebody crawling up. It's filled water now, how convenient. That wasn't enough already. Oh man, this section of the game is... I hope I can hear every little bit of this. Oh boy. Every time I open a door, I'm just expecting. Okay. I think I'm actually sweating right now. Do what? Moving some water around. We going up or we? Hold on, there's a person up here. Oh no, there's not. There's a thing on the wall. I said place from earlier. All right. I 
I don't know if I'm even going the right way anymore. Okay, this feels like the right way. This is what was in the, uh, video, right? Hold on. Yeah, I remember that from earlier, so we're good. What? Okay, I got past it, so... Oh, let me move, well... This game just keeps on giving, doesn't it? I want to read the message. Here he is, your shadow. Okay. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if that's... Carver or... Shit. Oh my god, dude. I feel like, man, I, after this I need to watch, like, Bambi or some shit. I, I literally, like, need to, need, like, a horror detox, because this is stressing me out. I feel like the end of this game's actual torture. Jump scares, uh, constantly weighing on you, uh, it's just... Shut up! Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> Many times. I bet we've come down these steps about a, at least like 30 times now. Oh, another. Like they're walking around. Are they? It's like not a game over either. I don't know how do you really it attacks when I look at it. Just don't look at it. Look straight down. Alan Palmer. I'm looking straight down at the ground, yo. Unique looking window back there. Roscoe Hayward. They're all dead because of me. I feel like he's being a little bit hard on himself, unless there's something, I mean. Ashley Sylvester. Basically, all the names of the people. kind of freaky not like it nothing else has been already you know Jesus I'm just 
gonna keep looking down. It seems to be safe. Jesus. Yo, what's going on? Are we good? I think we're alright. Another picture, okay. That is not a good picture at all. Something else. Done. This tries you might you you did this. What? Look up. No? Oh boy, you already know some bullshit's gonna happen. Shit! No! Ellis, no! Get a hold of yourself! Yo, I'm in. Yo, this is crazy. What is go- I think I've learned my lesson. Another guy? Let's see what this kind text message says. Hold on. Who are you, Ellis? Oh. Alright. Well, I can't go through there. It just says, careful. I've been waiting for you. What if I accidentally bump into it? Like that. <laughs> really? So if you happen to bump into it, you can be quiet and look down all you want, but if you bump into it, it's over. When I, look at it. I was not looking at it. I made no eye contact at all. <sighs> oh, wrong door. Hold on. All right, here we go. Looks like it's gonna come back now. I'm just gonna look at it through the wall. Can I go through here? No, okay. Coming back already. It's gonna look straight down, yo. Don't mind me, just chilling. I see where I'm supposed to go. Make it. Coward. Shut up. That's right. Wow. 
What? Your turn. Oh my head. Oh no. Shit. I gotta get through here, but I can't. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this thing to come back. Hold on. I feel like that might have been my chance. Just, just saying. Shit. Now I gotta wait. Oh boy. I'm not looking at no text message. <laughs> oh, do I want to? I guess I have to the corner. Corner was it again? It's like over here, wasn't it? Fuck. Oh, what? Yeah, that's crazy. I could have sworn that's the same corner, right? I'm gonna stand right here and look away. I'm not- I'm not looking this time, it's like some... Wait, what? I'm so to confused. Hide. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Either way... He goes, so he goes from in there. Sees that it's gonna detonate, gets the hell out of there. Goes right there. But it still kills him. Don't, Don't look, at her. look at her. Maybe I can look at it while in the corner? Fuck. No, no, no. Oh, I'm st Yo, I'm stuck. I can't look at anything. God. Behind you. No, no, no. Come on. Don't do it. No. Come on. Sit at me. Stop. Be no. Fuck. Do it. Fuck. Uh, no, 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 kill me, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Is it safe to turn around? Yo, I don't know what just happened, but I'm tripping right now, I feel like. What does this lovely photograph have to say? It's like I'm 
maybe it's my face being erased. I don't know. It's tough to tell anymore. Thought I had a clue. Oh god. Okay. Yo, my game crashes, I swear to god. I feel like this is one of those custom stories for Amnesia The Dark Descent, you know? What's happening? Daytime with a. Uh, with a horror detox, please. Why am I running like supersonic right now? What the world? We got a photograph. So, was I the one that shot the kid? Maybe now I have PTSD. Maybe the kid I'm chasing doesn't exist. I have so many questions. Such filth. Oh, that man lived here. Maybe for years. Do it. <sighs> Well, the Blair Witch symbol's definitely all over my camera right now. Is it time to leave the area yet? Jim Carrey and Bruce Almighty, I got the power. I take it. You like that? Alright, where am I going? This is the story of this game right here. Where am I going? Ability early on would have been really nice. I'd have been in the woods just going bonkers on these things. Going down doors. Look at this. Like you just kind of hover this over something and you, you get it done. We're going down more steps because the part of this house is 40 floors and I didn't know it. Oh no no no! Oh my! Where's the sheriff? I don't know what like. 
It's all just a dream, but they're gonna warn me about this stuff, don't they? Damn, you, if you barely just like graze them with this thing. where I'm going at all. I feel like I was in the right spot. I mean, I can't believe I actually said that. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Can I just like blow a hole in the side of this house and just get the hell out of here? Asking the real questions over here. Well, uh, I guess we're going... Here? Wait, we came down here though. We're supposed to go down here, right? Okay, I'm so confused. Okay, we came through here. We went down the steps. It's clearly the right way to go. Because all those things are down here, all like the silhouettes of people. Uh came through here. This is a door. Hold on. Oh, more steps. Say it ain't so. What the hell just happened? What was that? This is it. The basement. I'm finally here. I'll believe it, Peter. In a minute. Peter. Peter, where are you? Hold on. So many people. Did you kill them all? So that's Carver's pictures everywhere. There's the... Look, he's not here. What now? What's... Where are you, motherfucker? Show yourself! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. And after what you've done, I'm gonna enjoy it! <laughs> so am I. Come on, then. The key is under the table. I'm waiting on the other side. Key is under the table? Alright, we got the key at least do this, man. Once and for all. Here goes nothing. Well, here goes, guys. Crawling to salvation. One heart attack at a time, shall we?
No, 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 please, 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 please. God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, shush. No, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, 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 please. what you get, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> it's over. It's finally Shut over. Shut up! All those people. Children. <laughs> I will rip your fucking heart out. Here anymore. You won't get out of it that easily. Free. Free. I won't let you. <laughs> she always wanted you to become... Shut up! Dang, that's me now. What? Oh! Wait, so... Bullet made it a- He's alive, okay. But I'm not- I'm Carver all of a sudden, what? Yo, I'm, I'm happy I saw Bullet at the end. Take his face. Ellis uh, gave into his rage and despair. The cycle continues. Carver's was uh, Carver was born again, despite his injuries. Bullet survived. Nice. He was later found wandering outside Shannon's house. Nice. Bullet survived. Let's go, baby. Uh, Jess cut all her ties with Ellis after learning of his fate, and she didn't say a word. Peter's fate remains unknown. Uh, with no clue to its whereabouts, Sheriff Lanning's body was never recovered from the Black Hills Forest. That sucks, man. Alright, Todd's body was found months later in the Tappy East Creek sawmill so rotten it was nearly beyond identification. Identification. That's the thing about ID. Like the abbreviation. I think Norm MacDonald said it best. He said, I stands for I. And uh, D, of course, stands for identification. <laughs> A lot of balance on that D right there. Um, let me say something. First off, let me skip this. Because there'll probably be some copyright music. And they'll come down with the band Hammer on YouTube. Hold on. Dang, we beat it. Yo, I can't believe it. Um... As I'm recording this, it is 1.38 a.m. And I'm going to go ahead and say the last hour of this game about... I wish I could have, like, monitored my heart rate. It could not have been healthy. Uh, I felt like it took years off my life. And... It was one of the scariest experiences I've ever had in a video game. Because it was... Most games, if it's horror... Okay, like, for instance, this game... What it does that a lot of other horror games don't do is what I would say Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 1 did for me. 3, not so much. And that's the sense of not just horror, but dread. Uh, I think dread is a lot more tense. You know something's coming, you don't know when, you don't know how, or where, or anything. This game started off very slow and gradual, you know, you occasionally run into one of those things in the forest, and then you, you know, shine your light, it goes away, and you're good. Not really a lot of jump scares, but once you get to that house, let me tell you, that was a long sequence, and I didn't think it was ever going to end, and I don't know if I'd ever want to play that again, just because... Holy shit. That was tense. The game, I'm gonna tell you that the game was really good. I, I am so glad I experienced this, and I'm so glad that the videos... I uh, did really well because I'll be honest I would I would not have played this if I didn't have a YouTube channel not at all because I would have got to a certain point and been like okay I've seen enough I'm good I'm out of here um man it was like a whole different game you know what it, it felt like layers of fear 2 for instance one of the main reasons I did two videos in it they didn't really do too well but like I'll say this right now one of the main reasons I stopped was because I don't think 
at this stage of my life, I can usually play games like this anymore. I literally was behind, I, I think I was hiding behind my microphone, uh, for like the last, I want to say like, hour of this game almost. But man, I'm so glad it's, it's completed, it's over, I can relax now. I'm gonna go watch Breaking Bad and lay in my bed, alright? I'm on like season 3 right now, I watch it every month. Every month I just watch it over and over and over, it's all, it's like one of my favorite shows, so. I watch it to just, even if I'm not watching it, I have it on the background, so, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go do that, I'll probably be up pretty late tonight, um, thank you guys, been doing this a long time, I know that, uh, I usually talk about games after I beat them, this game was solid, I, I would think it's very, very good, uh, here's the thing, I liked it better than Man of Medan, and, if you look back several years ago when Until Dawn came out, there's no way I would have picked this game to be better than that. But that game was alright. It was also super short. It, you could beat it in like four hours. Uh, this game was about a five to six hour experiment, which wasn't much better as far as like time wise. But let me tell you, it was a very well intuitive experience. You use a camcorder, you're rewinding stuff. I've never seen that done in games. Maybe Braid. Not with a camcorder, obviously. Uh, and then you also, on top of that, you had the dog a aspect of it. The dog, you can give a dog a treat. Uh, you're collecting stuff throughout the game. Uh, a lot of wandering around in the woods. And that's what the game was trying to capture from the movies. You know, the Blair Witch Project, which came out so long ago. Uh, I've already forgotten about it. Like, I don't remember most of the movie, but this game... Just took that idea and just kind of ran with it. So, um, overall, I think the game was really good. I would think it's a very solid experience as far as horror games go. Uh, it's definitely up there, one of the scarier games I've ever played. Uh, back in, not to get long winded, I know I'm like taken up, but if you're still listening, hey, whatever. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, all the likes, all the support really means a lot to me. Um, Back in 2010, when I played Amnesia of the Dark Descent. Wait, was it 2000? No, it was 2011. Because I remember 2010, I played Dead Rising 2, which was like the first uh, Let's Play walkthrough type series I ever did. I, I did it all live, you know, like I'm doing now. And that next January, I remember I was at like a GameStop waiting to buy Dead Rising, not Dead Rising, but Dead Space 2. Went home, played it, started that series, didn't know what this was all going to turn into. And uh, once Dead Space 2 ended, I remember driving 45 minutes to my college every day to not just go to classes, but I would upload my single video when I got there because the internet there was so good and the internet back home was so bad. Because back then, uh, the way YouTube worked was you couldn't private a video and schedule it. Now if I upload it, it's like, hey, it was done one second ago. Uh, but... Nowadays, it's more like, or it used to be, hey, the minute you hit upload, however long it takes to upload, then process, then publish. If I, if it took two hours at my dad's house on his internet, it, it say I uploaded it two hours ago with no views, whatever. Anyways, long story short, the next series after it was uh, Amnesia. And it was one of the first times, because I'd kind of went Dead Rising 2, it's kind of horror, it's, you know, it's more of a comic action horror type thing with some crazy bosses. Then Dead Space 2, which did have its moments, but it was it was more action-y than the first game. And then 3 was kind of like not really horror at all. <laughs> it was just more like action all the way. Um, well, hopefully we get a Dead Space 4 one day. Anyways, Amnesia were the first like true horror game. And why this game kind of is parallel with that was because what I experienced in that game was a sense of dread not being able to defend yourself. Uh, in that game, it was like if you don't have your lantern out for too long, you start losing your sanity and it starts dropping. Uh, but if you bring it out, the monsters can see you. Uh, you know, and you're constantly just on pins and needles the whole game. I didn't feel like that until like we got to that house at the end of this game. Once Carver came into the picture, this game just didn't, it, it just got turned on its head. Um, so yeah, this game recaptured those early horror days for me, I feel like. 
Man, really good game. Really good. Really solid. Uh, if they ever made a first-person Silent Hill type game, I would want it to be kind of like this. Uh, anyways, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting not just my videos, but just the series in general. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Like, just how far this whole thing has come. I, I literally would rather be doing this than anything. And I thank you all for giving me this opportunity uh, to even be able to make a video. Like, what is that? You know? Sorry, it's late at night. I'm getting all uh, emotional. <laughs> I'm gonna... I must be like the stage after horror. Like, my heart's finally calmed down a little bit. We're on some menu music, you know? And uh, I'm just watching these branches sway back and forth. And it's like... I started thinking about everything, so... Some real, real talk. This game was awesome. Thank you, guys. All right. I love you all. I'll catch you in the next series. I have no idea what it's going to be. But as far as horror games go, I'm hoping that we get something. I don't think Death Stranding is going to be scary. Uh, Doom Eternal, no. Ghost Recon, definitely not. Borderlands, that's that's not going to be anywhere near horror. Uh, horror. What's, what's something good? I, I have no idea. Resident Evil 3 re remake. The Nemesis remake. I don't think that's going to get made anytime soon. Maybe sometime next year. Maybe. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next series, whatever it may be. Hopefully to see you guys there. And uh, much love, guys. Take it easy.